It's a Sunday morning. It's actually almost afternoon, I guess. It's probably about noon or a little bit after into one o'clock or so. We finished up our second phase of the sale at Lake Comorant, and so we're kind of putting that to rest for a little while and restocking for a three-day sale, probably in another month to six weeks. In between times, we've got some other sales going on and all of that, and I'll be showing you those things on some of the YouTubes. I got my favorite sidekick with me. Don't let Lorelai know. <laughs> <laughs> Mom's with me today. We've already done a few things. The van was full to the back, and you see it is again. It was full to the back and all the way to the top and everything of things that were my death pile that was in my bedroom that I needed to move to my eBay, which I did. I don't have a true death pile like most people do. I have a death pile that is perpetual because I buy out estates and buy out lockers and all kinds of stuff. So I've always constantly got a death pile that's just part of this business. It's indicative of this business. But what I've done, I went to my eBay locker, which is on the other side of this one, and unloaded all of the van. And now I'm reloading it again. This is my last 10 by 20 out of five of them that I had from liquidating my store and then probably about six or seven estates. This is the last one I've got left. It is a mess right now because I'm moving things around. It's usually stacked and all of that, but it's not at this point. I'm trying to get this shelf empty and we're doing a pretty good job of it today. And that's what these things are loaded up. I'm gonna take these over to Blue Moon, South Haven. It's Becky's old hippie shop where I used to have some items and things and they've allowed us to bring things in there and have a makeshift yard sale because the owner of the building has stuff to sell and he wants me to sell it for him and I said I can do that if you'll let me bring my stuff and Becky's stuff too and we can just sell it during the sales and see what we can get for it and then I'll have my buyout guy to come by and just yank it all out of there so for instance if these things don't sell some of these things like I've got some let's see if I can find them some of those they obviously won't go to donation and I won't have my buyout guy yank them and just take them I usually do that for him to have things that he can sell and it pays him for gutting out the building for us and we'll just gut it out after every one of these sales and um, before I have him in of course I'll pull any items like this and we'll pull it over to Becky's sale for that uh, next go around that three-day sale that we're gonna have first of the summer so it's kind of a perpetual, what do you call it, a uh, merry-go-round, whatever, musical junk. <laughs> All of this is my setups and everything. It's been shown on other videos. Those are my setups, except for what I've got over at Becky's right now, and I just told her to keep it, because right now she's my active estate, and it's no reason for me to have any tables or anything. I've got some lightweight tables I can put up for any yard sales I want to have, which I do have. We may have a... Sunday afternoon went over at Becky's and just do outside stuff or something like that but we'll probably not be over there like I said but you can see it goes way back this looks insurmountable to a lot of people but this is stuff that I just absolutely dig and you do have to dig here <laughs> so we're going to move on to Blue Moon and I'll show you that Mom and I got to Blue Moon Here's all the stuff that was in the back that I unloaded. You can see a little bit more of it, I guess. Got a juicer and some funky prints I got at the bin store for, I think I paid five bucks a piece for them or whatever. They're, um, since this is a hippie shop, it's a lot of, it's upside down, but it's a lot of Zodiac type of stuff on one of them. And then this one is like a dance one. It's actually um, pen and ink, which is really cool. It's not a print. And then we've got uh, Bob Marley hair. <laughs> got that at the bin store. My son-in-law has a Freddy costume. He's going to sell. I need to find the hat to it. There it is. I had it in a couple of my yard sales and had a couple of lookers, but didn't have anybody that wanted to pay what I had on it. So we'll see what they'll pay here. Nice flag, display flag. 
odds and ends, bottle caps, stuff that you've seen in some of my other videos that went through my booth situation and then my yard sale. And now I'll bring it here and then it'll go out the door. When you buy it for pennies on the dollar, it just doesn't hurt your feelings if it goes out the door. A yard row that somebody's going to get a swinging deal on. Games will probably end up going to Becky's. You know, there's a few things like the swag lamp and stuff like that that'll probably go to Becky's sale. The next sale at Lake Comrade. This is stuff I'm going to be selling for the Blue Moon owner. And the owner of the building has a lot of stuff like this in here. This is what's left. We've cleared out pretty much everything else, but got a lot of really cool things. Might see if he wants to sell me those. He might give them to me. He likes me. <laughs> yeah, I'd offer him something for him anyway. Cuckoo clocks, signage, books, old books. Still got some decent pieces of furniture that have been recovered and things like that, but I think I'm gonna advertise this one. I've been thinking about it. I think I'm gonna advertise this one as a dig it out sale. We're gonna know what's here, but we're gonna kind of leave it in this condition and just say you need to dig for buried treasure. We're gonna call it a buried treasure sale, I think. That should work. Blue Moon buried treasure sale. Come see what we don't know is here. <laughs> Where she's got a lot of boxes and things and what we're going to do between now and two weeks from now two weeks from yesterday actually we'll probably throw all of these boxes into this front room in there that used to be a black light room and stuff and uh we'll probably throw those in there for us because <laughs> we'll have to box this stuff up and or the buyout guy will when he takes it things like these chairs and stuff like that those are antiques, so we'll be taking those to the Lake Comrade sale for the three days. So that's what the condition is at Blue Moon South. I think it's time to trade out the van for Miss Daisy. Let's see what the bins have to offer. They're mad at them. They brought it out and they pulled people away from the tables because they were shopping the tables like they know they're not supposed to. These are people that are here every day, all day. <laughs> Sunday afternoon. I don't usually like coming, but I came with mom today. And you see where I am. I'm way over here. I'm getting all the better stuff. And there they are fighting over Nike Dry Fit. <laughs> 